What's up YouTube, it's Sync Dees here bringing you another video on Superstar X Factors and Ultimate Team. The reason this topic is highly talked about is because EA has stated that chemistry abilities are being replaced by superstar abilities. So what, the, so what that means is a more strategic way of building your team. Inside the Gameplay Deep Dive Part 1 article on EA's website, Clint Odenberg states, The NFL is a star-driven league. And we tune in every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday to see how these unique athletes' stories will unfold as they take to the field. He also reiterates further down in the article that pass rush, under pressure penalties, gang sacks, and lurking linebackers are going to play a factor in this year's game. As far as pass rush, this is significant creative change to the balance of the game, and on average, this will force the offense to get the ball out quicker on passing plays without consistently having the time to wait for the second and third passing windows to open up. As, as far as the under pressure penalties go, you'll see great pass rushers have a greater impact on QB passing accuracy when applying pressure. And you'll see QBs who are great at throwing under pressure be more accurate. Gang sacks. Multiple defenders can now seamlessly add on to tackle animations when sacking the quarterback. Limits placed on lurking linebackers. Primarily, only defensive backs will be able to execute the athletic jumping interceptions in Madden NFL 20, while linebackers and defensive linemen will now be able to make acrobatic catches over the middle. So how does this information affect the way I decide to build my ultimate team? In my opinion, I have a general idea of what I would like my defense to look like when it comes to Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Let's take a look. After playing the beta, the one word that I want people to take away from my lineup is physicality. What players are going to give me the best chance to stop the run and force my opponent to pass, all the while initiate extreme amounts of contact, who's big, strong, and hit hard. When it comes to DBs, I chose none other than the GOAT, Sean Taylor, Jamal Adams, Derwin James, Night Train Lane, Dick LeBeau, Mel Blunt, and Jalen Ramsey. All of these players are known for being extremely hard hitters, great tacklers, and effective run stoppers. Based on the knowledge I have from playing the beta, I can almost guarantee these players will embody the enforcer ability. For those who, that don't know, the enforcer ability gives guaranteed tackle after a hit stick. Although this feature failed me once, I think it embodies the identity of my team, which is being physical. The next level of defense is obviously the linebacking core. I personally like running a 3-4 defense and my mic and mo backers must have high pursuit, tackle, and hit power ratings. Ray Lewis and Bobby Wagner both fit that description. I included Brian Erlacher and Tremaine Edmonds for sub packages. Height is something that can't be taught in Madden. With Erlacher being 6'4 and Edmonds being 6'5, it gives me a better chance at causing disruption in the middle of the field. On the outside, Lawrence Taylor is a must. I mean, the name for itself should bring memories that simply just aren't normal. I just got chills thinking about it. Vaughn Miller and Demarcus Lawrence on the outside as well. Again, these guys wreak havoc. Lastly, I want to get into the front line. The guys who are in the trenches battling every down to reach the quarterback. Playing against Miles Garrett, I don't know what EA put in his code. But this guy's a glitch. I mean, his power move ability, power specialist, which allows a faster power move animation during pass rush, similarly to Geno Atkins and Fletcher Cox, their presence was felt throughout the game. I would max protect, they would be double teamed. And one and a half seconds later, they were making their way toward me with a head full of steam or sack. This was without being in the zone, by the way. This brings me to the point, how do you think Legend Superstars will coincide with their archetypes? 
Deacon Jones from watching tape was ruthless in his pursuit. Bruce Smith is the king, all-time sack leader. Let me know in the comment section down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, help the channel grow. All support is well received. And as always, remember to be great.